I mean, I think Power of the Dog is unique to Jane's vision. She's an extraordinary, extraordinary filmmaker because, like Denise, she's A++. The work she does is so considered, so thorough, so precise, so artistic. And I think the fact that she was an anthropologist first, you know, she studied anthropology, means that she's able to see symbols and moments on the page that others can't necessarily, and to understand how she can work those through into something cinematic and bigger on screen. I mean, I think in our film, what she did with the rope to um, embroider the whole narrative through the making of that rope, to use it as a sort of central defining image is an example of the way she crafts um, story and image and narrative all together and entwines it. She took the, the four central characters played by Benedict Cumberbatch and Jesse Plemons and Kirsten Dunst and Cody Smith McVie, and she allowed them to, to dance, to duet with each other, and to take what was in the book, but make it very, very cinematic. Um, and I think that was obvious from the page, from what she wrote on the script. I mean, I've had the privilege of reading a Jane Campion screenplay without knowing it's a Jane Campion screenplay and without having seen the film, because we came together um, on her previous film, Bright Star, when I read the screenplay for that and could see what a phenomenal screenwriter she is as well as phenomenal director because there's a precision about her use of language and her choice of what to juxtapose where. She doesn't just make a film that's about the film, she makes films that are about so many other multi-layers and I think that comes across on screen and is one of the reasons why in the last 30 years she hasn't made as many films as we would have liked her to have done, but that each and every one has an originality of voice and precision that is um, unique and very, very distinctive original filmmaking. <laughs>